it's Liz Yule from Old Stables Crafts and I've got the new paper pumpkin. This is the Hope Box. I know it is because it says so on the packet. Um, so this is a global release. It was released a little bit earlier in North America because they get it earlier. Um, but for those of us who are not in North America, we've got the Hope Box, which is inspired by Sherry Gar Shelley Gardner, which is always good because Shelley is wonderful. So I have taken the cellophane wrapper off, but nothing else. So we have got gorgeous Blackberry Bliss ribbon, a Blackberry Bliss spot, which I will replace with a Blackberry Bliss ink pad. We've got a lovely stamp set. So always hope because you never know what tomorrow will bring. Just a note of hope, hope, uh, where there is hope, uh, where, where, the, where there is faith, miracles happen and there is faith. Butterfly, splodge, always like a splodge, and a couple of, well, a floral and another butterfly. So really pretty. There's the uh, flyer saying you hope it puts a smile on, your, on someone's face, because what you can do is you can make the kit and then decorate the box as a hope box for someone where they can store away little things that um, remind them that there is always hope. So that could be all sorts of things. I've already got some things in mind. So lovely tissue paper and this is the content. So let me see if I can get it out. There we go. So it's all still sealed. Although I did undo the outside cellophane. That's all I did. So I'm going to pop the, the flyer back in because it tells you how to assemble your hope box. Um, so how you can decorate it with elements from the kit. Um, but we'll actually I'll pop that there because it's got some quite nice ideas which we will hopefully have time to cover. So cellophane wrapper needs to come off. I've got my little centre stage pot which has now got my glue, my bone folder and my snips in it. So hopefully if I always put them back, I'll know where they are. It's a novel idea. So let me put them back. <sighs> so here we go. Survey in the bin. Some lovely iridescent sequins and some dimensionals. So let's get the sequins out because I've already got dimensionals going. So I will add those to my dimensionals uh, supply. Mini glue dots, I mean mini, mini glue dots. Uh, envelope, so one, two, three. So three each of three designs. Oh, and they're decorated front and back. Woohoo! No naked envelopes. Uh, banners. So three sheets of these banners, some bits of white card. Uh, then now this may be different in North America, but we get the three main languages for Europe. So English, German and French. Uh, so tomorrow um, and hope. Oh, hope in German is really long. Zuversicht. Okay, that's probably mispronounced, but anyway. Uh, some printed layers, some labels, so four circles and four, uh, eight rectangles. I've lost words. My words are going. Um, I, when, as I'm recording this, I've, I've just finished um, a one to one training session with one of my team. Um, so my brain is kind of elsewhere. Anyway, more layers. Cute little butterflies. So six of these and then three of each of the colours. Card bases by the look of it. So we've got, I think this is polished pink. I will check. Ooh, die cuts, laser die cuts. And they are pop outable. Ooh, three of those. Uh, oh, this is the belly band for the box. Yay. So let's pop that to one side because that's a sort of later thing. Then three more card bases. Different design. Oh, gosh. So always hope because you never know what tomorrow will bring, which is one of the stamps. 
a tag, some laser cut flowers, and we've got it in French and German as well. So, Gardon Espoir. No, not being able to do that, not with the serif font that it's got. Zuversicht uh, ist die Kraft, die der Flügel verlicht. Light, even. Light. Maybe. Who knows? My German was always slightly better than my French. So again, we've got hope, hope and things. Uh, three more card bases and an enormous die cut. I'm guessing these are for the outside of the box. Then we've got a piece of card and underneath we have our instructions. So let's tidy some of this away and I will make, hopefully if I've got time, I will be able to make one of each of the cards and then the box itself I will leave for another day because I think that's probably going to take a lot of time to, well, I'd like to finish all the cards before I, in inverted commas, dispose of the box. So, uh, supplies for nine cards and nine envelopes. Um, the colours are, oh, it's Melon Mambo. Okay, Bermuda Bay, Blackberry Bliss, Bumblebee, Melon Mambo. It is Petal Pink. Oh, Petal Pink. I was thinking it was Polish Pink. So Melon Mambo, Poppy, Petal Pink, Pool Party and Poppy Parade. Ooh, Melon Mambo and Poppy Parade. There's a brave colour choice. Um, your creativity is limitless and so is your paper pumpkin kit. You can follow the instructions included or choose your own adventure and create alternative projects with coordinating stamping up products. And there's a paper pumpkin how-to um, instruction video if you want to use the instruction video. So let us... Okay, I think I know what I'm doing. Right, so there are there are sort of two lots of instructions because there's there's these which I think is what you need, and then there's the actual instructions. We will need a block because uh, in Europe and South Pacific they don't come with a block because in North America you get a block with your first paper pumpkin kit. Huh. Right, so I'm going to need the list of what I need for my first card, which is a pool party base. I'll worry about the envelope later. Uh, one of these, one of those lovely, I love these, so one of those, then hmm. oh okay, so these are the sequins, these are the glue dots, these are the dimensionals, I'm there. And we want, oh hope and tomorrow, so tomorrow and now for speed, I'm going to be very brave and I'm not going to, well, I might have to de-pip some of these. I'm, I'm going to try not to de-pip, but they're quite pippy, so I'm going to have to. I was going to do speed, but I can't not pip. So hope and tomorrow. It's that one that's the... So I just run my snips along the edge and it takes off any of the bits that are sticking out. Gosh, my voice is dry. That will do team training for you. It was a really productive meeting, actually. Really pleased with everything. Right, always hope because you never know what tomorrow will bring. Now, those of you who have watched me before will know that the first thing I'm going to do is prep my stamp because I think photopolymer is better prepped. And I will show you what I mean by prepped in a moment. So there's a funny mark it's just a funny mark it's fine so uh, they go they're made in a mold and to make sure that the mold releases the stamps they use a kind of non-stick spray which means that glue doesn't stick uh, sorry ink doesn't stick to it either so first thing I always do is just rub my stamps either with my hand or with a good quality white eraser such as Here's one I prepared earlier. Now, people have asked me where I got this from. I've had it for years, but it's manufactured by Maped, M-A-P-E-D. Um, but yeah, that is what I would call a good quality white eraser and you can just rub it over your stamps. 
So, Blackberry Bliss. You see, I would have got this out had I really had my brain in, because it's right at the bottom of my stack of, of inks. So, Blackberry Bliss ink pad. And I need to do whatever it says for number one. Number three, number one. Right, so on the on the this, I'm going to stamp. Now, this is always something that is worth remembering. Um, stamp somewhere that doesn't matter first, just to make sure you kind of got your head around the whole thing. So ink up your stamp. This is quite a large stamp, so you're going to want to make sure that it's well inked. It will stain your stamp. It will not damage it, it will just be stained. And that's coming out really nicely. So I can now ink up again. It also means that you have prepared your um, stamp even more by stamping. So with the pink at the top and the blue at the bottom, I'm going to just go somewhere in the middle. Will bring doesn't look quite as well inked as the rest. That's a bit better. Oop, no, never. Right, stop fiddling, you'll get on with it. So about yay. That is straight. Yes, that is straight. So if I line up across the stamp, it should be fine. Now, if you have problems stamping a large stamp, you need to get one of our stamping mats, which are in the annual catalogue, um, in amongst all the stamping supplies towards the back of the catalogue. Right, there we go. Lovely. Now, this is going to be stained, as I said. And I will show you what I mean when I clean it off. I need to wash my chamois, which is stained, but it's also quite dirty at the moment. That is what I mean by stained. That is, I think that's going to, yeah, that's clean. It's stained. She says, emphasising that probably too much. Now, obviously, if you haven't got the full-size Blackberry Bliss ink... <coughs> whew, that was lucky. Ink pad. Uh, you can use the spot that they have given you. Let's just get rid of that ink. Wasn't that lucky? Whew. Whew, that could be nasty. I would have looked as if I'd been murdered, probably. Right, so this needs to have dimensionals on it. Uh, now, I did say I've got a dimensional sheet open, and I do. One dimensional sheet. And now, they've said four. I am sure that four is ample. But although I am not, I've said this before, I will say it again, I'm not Bruno Batucci. I'm going to use more than four. Uh, Bruno does use a lot of dimensionals, and I have no problem with that. They are his dimensionals. Um, but I think four is possibly a little mean, um, particularly if you're posting. If you're hand delivering, then obviously you don't need to be as worried about what, how things are going to end up. But yeah, so this then goes on here and I've done a rookie error, but that's fine. I'll sort it out in a moment like that. And my rookie error is I'm not going to use the um, the glue dots because I've got tape runner, but you can, can just use the glue dots. And the rookie error is it's a lot easier to put tape runner on, so this is seal, uh, onto a flat surface rather than something that has got dimensionals on. So it is a bit of a rookie error, but it's fine. So this then goes onto my card base. Let me Get my bone folder because I know where it is because it's in its little home. Uh, and my scissors, on the other hand, are not in their little home. So this is then going to go on here. Like that. And oh, we need two butterflies as well. Flutterby butterfly. So I need two solid butterflies. And again, I am just going to be, you know, it's me. 
when would I not do this? <clears throat> uh, and these are going to be stuck on flat. I will use glue dots, but I'll use my ordinary glue dots. I'm going to be brave. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to be brave. Right, I'm going to ignore the little pips. So, one of those. Then the sentiments get popped up on dimensionals. So we've got one of them up there. One of them down here. And then... Because to oh I see ah oh, clever clever so this probably does only need one dimensional I might just be able to get away with two on here if I bring them in a little bit from the edges otherwise I would put three but this is clever you'd think they thought this through wouldn't you. Right, so hope. Because you never know what tomorrow will bring. So that is our first card. Whoa! Right, okay, so for our next card, we need pink, white. was somewhere there's white there's white white one of those a circle and one of each of the colored butterflies so one of each of the colored butterflies where have the butterflies gone where did I put my butter there they are so one oh no not just one of each so it's Bermuda Bay pink and bumblebee pink because I think it's Melamembo and Petal Pink, but pink. So one of each of these. Right, and just a note of hope. So I'm going to leave that on there because it's fine on there. Just a note of hope. There we are. Just a note of hope. And again, just going to prep my car, my stamp like that and bring back in my test card my test card sorry if you're in the UK you'll understand why test card is a thing if you're not in the UK you may not understand what on earth I'm talking about um, test cards were used in the back in the day when we had didn't have 24 7 television um, we would have a test card um, when there wasn't actual television. Why have I shut that? I need to stamp it. If you wanted to watch a video that was a really sensible video about how to put this kit together, um, wrong video, wrong demo, don't do sensible most of the time. Did that for my working life, don't need to do it now. I enjoy what I do, so I have fun doing it. Right, okay. Don't need these. Why did I get these out? Don't know. Put them back. Put them back. What are they for, then? How odd. Okay. Uh, right, number two. Number three. Number two. Ah, oh, because we do need them. That's weird, because it's not listed there. OK, so I wasn't actually making it up, so I do need them. OK, so let's get these out. So we need to stick these onto our white mat and overlap them. Now, the picture looks almost as if some of them are on dimensionals and some of them aren't. So I think I might put some of them on dimensionals. Because I think that's quite nice. I'm going to be good. I'm not going to take my pips off. I'm going to be brave. I can be brave. Right, so those two they have down. So let's pop those flat and slightly over the edge. I'm not going to press them, press them down just yet. 
that's up there a bit, so I'm just going to lay that down for the moment. And then this one is next and goes kind of there, a bit further down, like that. Then this one goes there, and this one goes there. Right, so I'm going to edge this one in a wee bit. So if I put that on the line and then add, pop that down about there, that should be fine. Then this one I'm going to put on dimensionals. I'm going to use three. Top, middle and bottom. Top, bottom and middle, whichever. And I am going to stick this down before I stick the next one down fully, purely so I can get the spacing. Because this is still, she says famous last words, do you still lose? Take it off. Right, so that's going to go down and just slightly overlapping the first one, a little bit more at the top. No, I'm going crooked. That's better. Yep. Then this one I can snuggle in underneath, about there. And then this one, again, I'm going to put top, middle and bottom. And have it popped up, because we're not popping up anything else apart from the sentiment, which I can do half on and half off. So this, I want about half a square width off the edge and down. So half a square width off the edge or thereabouts would be about there. And then this I'm going to stick on here. Let's get that bone folder out. And I'm going to use liquid glue because then I don't have to worry about what's on the top layer. Don't need a huge amount. It's not structural. So that goes on there. Now these cards are what I will call a standard North American size. So they're four and a half by five, five and a half by four, I don't know. Anyway, they're squatter than we're used to in Europe. So I've done this, so I need dimensionals on the back of there and that's going to go there. So I can do a dimensional just on the edge. So if I come there, and then I can put some adhesive down the edge opposite. Peel that off, and pop that on there, like that. And then these I'm going to stick on with glue dots, and hopefully my glue dots are going to be the right size. Yes. And then that's another card done. So that one's going... So a little bit of glue dot showing, so I'll just tuck it in. So that one's going just there. Then the pink one is going up here. And again, just a little bit of glue dot sticking out, so I'll just tuck it in. The ones that come with the kit will be perfect size. And then this one comes down here, like that. So that's another card done. Now what we haven't got, did we not, are we not supposed to have sequins on this one? We are, didn't, I'll do the sequins at the end. That will be the best idea, won't it? Where are we? Uh, oh, we're gonna run out of camera. Oh, we're gonna run out. So I will very quickly, I hope, put the next card together um, and yes it is that one so it needs to be the big 
the big uh, die cut. So I need one of those and the big die cuts, which are here somewhere. Where are they? There they are. So, ooh, I can't rush this one. So I might run out of battery, not battery, memory, because it doesn't like it doesn't like me running for more than half an hour, any more than any of you would, frankly, for a recorded video. Uh, now, so all I'm going to do is I will keep going until the bitter end. Just remember that if you don't already subscribe to my channel, you can do that by clicking in the bottom right hand corner. Um, if you want to sign up with my newsletter, you can do that over on my website, which will be linked below in the description bar. Um, and, oh, that's so pretty. Um, and, 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 if you want this, uh, I'll list it over on my website, which, as I say, is linked below. Um, and I think that's kind of everything. Uh, yes, do remember £75 starter kit is still available um, so don't miss out on that because it is awesome right so all I need to do I'm not going to use glue dots I'm going to use glue uh, and I will fold the card once I've done it so all we need to do is find some places to put glue um, you can use the glue dots that come in the kit but frankly it's going to be quicker to do this particularly when you're running out of time on your camera so this literally just plops down um, and so it's a top folding card and it just plops down and you can see that it kind of just works beautifully so that's the big bit done don't need that so I need a hope and hope And then where there is hope, there is faith on my stamps. So there is faith where there is on the two little strips. Oh, two minutes, two minutes. So I need two of these strips, which I am going to leave there for the moment. Uh, I need a block and another block and prep prep fortunately these do have emergency sides as well these labels so if you run out there is the emergency side which is always the other side of the label Phew, they're stamped okay. Get them out of the way. Pin those out. Don't put your fist in Blackberry Bliss. You will be scrubbing your hands until they are raw. <sighs> right, okay. Where there is faith. One and a half minutes. Nope, those are too big. I'm going to use my small ones. I mean, they're not too big. They'll be fine, but... Um, but I haven't got time to fiddle with them. So I'm going to use small ones and large. One, two, three. They've put four, but hey, who's counting? Not me. So I'm going to put faith, sorry, hope down first, which is going to go there. Then I can put these on and then I just need to put the small butterfly and I'm done and I will sequin them before I photograph them so they will have sequins in the photographs which will be over on my website which is linked below just click on the link next to associated blog post phew phew right okay so thank you very much indeed for joining me do remember to subscribe there if you've enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and I will see you again very soon. Bye!